Well, we plotted, it was a viral, it was a sort of, the, the viral marketing started in October, we launched October 22nd, 99 with 24 people in the office sending emails to other people. And the first month or two was slow. We were up to 1,000 by mid-November, 12,000 by the end of December of 99. It grew by about um, 5 to 7 percent, compounding daily. Uh, it was 100,000 by February 2nd of 2000 and about a million by uh, mid-April. And uh, the eBay, um, the eBay subset was growing even faster. It was compounding at about seven to ten percent a day. Um, so yeah, it was. Uh, it definitely uh, was growing extraordinarily fast. Uh, the the slightly worrisome uh, component uh, to um, um, to me as uh, CEO and even more so to our CFO who used to work at Silicon Valley Bank, which was sort of a, you know very traditional bank, was um, that with, with the exponential customer growth, there was an exponential growth in expenses because they were all costing twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Because plot the exponential curve of the customer growth. And one could also plot the burn rate, which was growing exponentially as well. Um, and uh, by uh, by early March of 2000, um, and we had about we had raised some more venture capital money. We had 15 million dollars in the bank, which is a decent, respectable amount. But uh, the burn rate of this, there were no revenues, uh, and of course no profits. Uh, but the burn rate was running at about 10 million a month. Uh, and uh, when sort of plotted out, it was, the whole thing was going to blow up in six weeks. Um, we had we had various company meetings uh, with the engineers, and you know it's like, well, we need to take over the world. We can't slow down now. And uh, and um, yeah, it was getting a little a little tense. So we basically just figured we have to raise more money. Uh, <laughs> last thing you want to do is stop the kind of machine we were building. The timing in March two thousand was rather auspicious on that score. Yes. So um, one of the things that occurred at the time we merged with our largest competitor, X dot com. Which there's still some rumors about who you know who, who came up with what idea first, but uh, we claim we were there certainly first, and uh, it was a 50-50 merger of equals, which made a lot of things more palatable than not. And uh, both companies were basically growing exponentially at that point. Both companies were pretty close to running out of money. We were so four blocks down the street from each other on University Avenue. Yeah, it was quite quite the uh, it was, Mexican. It was like stand a classic. Uh, insane competition situation. Yeah, you know, one of the engineers was actually. Uh, telling me after a few weeks of sleep deprivation that uh, the easiest way to dispense with our competitors down the block is to build a bomb. And uh, it's just, <laughs> just, you know, we'll, we'll take care of them. But we, we got slightly insane over the competition with those guys because, like, for example, uh, the, uh, my favorite, or not, my favorite at the time anyway, Latin saying was memento mori, which stands for be mindful of death. And I had it printed out in gigantic letters on my wall was the x.com logo underneath. But people had never, it, it, was, it was amazing from a cycle, mass psychology perspective uh, how hard people worked. I mean, they, there was no other context where people worked around the clock like that. And you yeah. know, it was like, yes, the people, they're getting ready to destroy us. Four, they're four blocks down the street in University Avenue. That's where the enemy is. And, uh, but we, 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 they were, it turned out, the, uh, we combined the two companies in early March, and then we frantically tried to raise uh, some money. And uh, March 2000 was, um, you know, was actually a good time to do this. We, um, um, there, I, I remember thinking to myself that it felt like things couldn't get much crazier, and we really had to close the money quickly because the window might not last forever. Uh, there was uh, one one day I was in um, in Korea, and to give you a little bit of the flavor, there was one set of investors. There was a university professor who concluded that um, the way he was going to become a multimillionaire was to spy on internet businesses from America and copy their business models and implement them in Korea. And, uh, and so he was hiding behind the tree, the bush, in the hotel lobby to spy on us. Unfortunately, the bush was in the way, and so he couldn't hear properly what we were saying and uh, decided to shamelessly just pull up the chair right next to us and listen in on us. A third, uh, a third group of investors took me to the airport uh, and decided that they were going to pitch. And they were all pitching me on why I should take their money as opposed to somebody else's. This was the basic theme. And they were going to pitch me on why I should take their money. And we were wandering into the airport, and uh, I was buying the plane ticket back to the US. And I was you were leading this revolutionary new payments company that's going to change the whole future of payments in the world. And, um, and, uh, and then I was trying to buy my plane ticket, and my credit card didn't work. I think it was probably maxed out or something. But, uh, but uh, and, you know, under normal circumstances, that would have been a little bit worrisome. They were excited beyond belief. They bought me a first class plane ticket on the spot. The next day, they called up our law firm, asked, uh, you know, what's the bank account we need to send the money to? Uh, no paperwork was signed. I could have given them a bank account in Switzerland. I don't know. They, they wired in $5 million, showed up the next day. Um, and so, um, but all of this reconfirmed my sense that uh, it, was, uh, it was imperative to move very quickly. 
We, uh, we closed on $100 million on Friday, March 31st. Uh, it was the following Monday the market basically collapsed. So uh, we, uh, and that, uh, that did give us a lot of cushion to actually uh, figure out how to, how, to, how to make the business work.